Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a mini drugstore Sephora haul, but I'm also going to be including my October favorites. I know it's November, but I wanted to put this together for you guys. And yeah. So first we're going to be starting with Sephora products. Sephora is like my happy place. Like I love it there. Like it's amazing. So my purchase online was the Visa R palette, which is only sold online. But this one is the 04 Dark Matte. They have other kinds of palettes with different colors. One bright colors, one neutral colors. Look how pretty these colors are. They're very lighter on camera, but they're really dark. Not really dark, but they're dark in person. So this palette is like literally everything. They're very pigmented. I would be doing a tutorial on this palette soon. I was very excited to receive this in the mail today. I love this orange. This orange is so beautiful. And just all the matte shadows, like matte shadows, anything matte is like my favorite. Like I love matte everything. Matte lipstick, matte everything. So when I seen this online, I was like, Smaller than I expected. I expected a bigger palette, so I wasn't really happy about that. I wasn't really happy about that, but um, this is the Visa Visa Visa. I do not know, but I will get it correct one day. The second online purchase was the Beauty Blender in white, of course. Uh, this one is. It said that it's for sensitive skin. So I read the first beauty blender was the pink one. I do want the red one and the black one, especially the black one. The black kind of girl. My next purchase was the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Very anxious to try this primer. I've heard so much great things, so I would definitely keep you guys posted on this. This Cover FX foundation, it is my second bottle and it is amazing and that's why I purchased it again. So I've used this and I recommend it. I've recently tried the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I love. Um, I tried a sample of it at first just to see what the whole fuss was about and the fuss was right. It was amazing. It felt very, very lightweight on my skin. I don't, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but it was lightweight on my skin when I first tried it and I loved it and everything. And pretty much had this luminous to my face. Like it's just very, very luminous, which I loved. Now moving on to drugstore products, which are my favorite because it's better to purchase something that's cheaper, but actually it's really great. Like or really, you know, it's worth it. I don't know if I would consider the bomb drugstore, but I did purchase it in Greenreed, Walgreens. Which, yeah. I purchased the Meat Matte Hudges. Hudges. Yeah. The Matte Liquid Lipsticks in Adoring and Loyal, which I have adoring on right now. This is the one I have on my lips right now, and this one is Loyal. The reason why I purchased these liquid lipsticks is because I have received a little mini sample from the Ipsy Glam Bag from October, and I felt in love with how lightweight it is on my lips, and I love the smell of the mint that they have in the formula, but my biggest and of these liquid lipsticks, it's just so lightweight. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips, which is amazing. And my sister actually loves the color that they gave me. She put it on and she was like, oh my God, this is like perfect because uh, I don't want to feel like I have something on my lips, which is a plus. But, uh, yeah. The one on my lips is adoring. I haven't tried Loyal yet, but I'm very excited because it's like a bright red. The 
other drugstore products that I, I purchase with LA Girl Pro Conceal. One is in the orange corrector and this one is a medium whisk. 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 I will have everything down in the description below. Don't worry. But um, this one is to conceal dark circles which I don't have serious dark circles like not too serious like I've seen worse but I have some dark circles so, so I try to like try new products that will actually conceal dark circles before I like I apply a concealer and you know all that good stuff but the recent concealer that I've been using was by NYX and it's the orange pigment which is it's, it's a great 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 formula it has coconut oil inside of it this one I feel like it's more pigmented because I did swatch it on my hand. So I'm very excited to try this to see how great it is. I heard a lot of great things about this product and this company. So I'm very excited to try them out. The uh, next, I should have mentioned this when I mentioned the, 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 the Mary Luminizer. I'm very late picking up this product, but I heard so much great stuff about this product. It is amazing when I swatched it. This is the highlighter. It's so amazing. I don't know how many highlighters I have, but every time when I pick up a new highlighter, I ask myself, do I really need a new highlighter? But I still do. I don't know why, but I'm a fan. Of course, highlighting is a big thing right now. I tried this nail kit today. I don't feel like I did a great job, but I will get better. But I do love the kit. I was very impressed of how the process is. And if you do not want to spend money on a salon, a nail salon, you can just go buy this for like $10 and like Green Reed, Walgreens, CVS, wherever a drugstore is around you or wherever you can find it. It's called Broadway Nails, Real Life Brush on Gel Nail Kit. Today, I also purchased the Maybelline New York Brow Drama Pro Palette. This one is in deep brown. I'm very excited to try this. I've been using my brows from Wet n Wild. It's a brow kit. I haven't seen it since I last purchased it, which I only purchased one, but I've been that's my, my go-to for my brows. I tried the Anastasia Brow Wiz. A fan. Every time I see myself going to purchase it, I always put it back. It's not a bad thing, you no, know, because it's a great product. But I prefer powder, even though you can use the Anastasia Brow Wiz to sculpt your. So this one comes with a sculptor, a powder, and an illuminator, which it helps you pretty much you sculpt first, you fill in, and then you highlight. Pretty much clean up the areas that need to be cleaned so you can get the perfect on fleek eyebrow. Obviously, that's always been on my eyebrows. So now let's jump into my absolute favorites. See a palette that came out in Sephora. So this is my Z palette. This is from Sephora, and when I saw it, I said I have to have it. This is from from Makeup Forever. This is Prestige Highlighter, that's Anastasia Banana Powder, the Contour from Anastasia, I think this one is in Bonds, the blush that I got, I just plucked out of another palette. This is also Anastasia, but this is the cream banana color. Yeah. And this one is by BH, so very, very bright, bright pink. But when I seen this, I was like, I gotta have it because I wanna start collecting single shadows. This is the Carly Bible 14 color eyeshadow highlight palette. And it is amazing. When I say amazing, it's amazing. So this is the palette. It's 14 eyeshadows, four highlighters. It is creamy, it's pigmented, it's easy to blend. It is the most fun palette I've ever played with. It's worth every penny and more, and I would definitely recommend this to everybody. Next, October favorite is the Shade and Light palette. I haven't used it. I only used it twice, which I'm surprised. 
I've only used it twice, but it's actually one of my favorites. Why? Because it's very, very pigmented, and I love pigmentation on everything. Obviously, who doesn't? But this is my favorite. Like literally my favorite. Of course, next to Anastasia, but Anastasia of course came first. But this one pretty much topped every contour kit ever, ever that's ever came out. I need to start using this palette more because it's just so awesome. Forever 12 flash color case, which is pretty much awesome for Halloween because it comes with all these awesome colors. I use pretty much it's dirty. I use pretty much the red and the black and the yellow. The yellow to create a bruise and this to create irritation around my mouth. And this to create the mermaid scales, which is the base. And yeah, this came really, really, really in handy when I was doing my makeup look. And it's amazing. It's very pigmented. And yeah, like it's really, really, really good for Halloween. But it's also good for many other uses, which is like a base for your like eyeshadow, or you can use it on your lips, whatever you prefer, whatever rocks your boat. I pretty much will use it for everything. So the next October favorite, these products are all from Benign. Benign. And they're pretty much awesome, and they're pretty much everything that I use for the Halloween tutorial that I created on my channel. This one is the No, well, I didn't use this for my tutorial, but I did use this to create like scars on my hand just to like play with it and stuff. This is the Nose and Scar Wax from Ben. Rose wheel from Ben 9, it was worth it. It's $23.99. It's very pigmented, but it works really, really good to create bruises and stuff. I had a lot of fun with this even after October ended. I was still playing with that. The next was Ben 9 Stage Blend. And I barely used it, but I love this to create like flooding all over. And the Ben 9 Clear Latex. The Benign Clown White Face Paint. Yeah, and CW2. What else? This one is not Benign, but this is called Intense Press Powder Pigmented. Pigment. Intense Press Powder Pigment. This is not a Benign product, this is a Nayron product. It was $7. I yet have to find the name. Like, where is the name of this product? Like, I try to put it down in the description below, but I don't know if it's covering it, the sticker. But it's like a grayish. It's like a grayish color. This is what I use to contour. I don't know why I put it back in my face. This is what I use to contour my face when I did the mermaid zombie look. Oh my god, come out for a break. This is it. It's like it's really it's grayish. That's the color. And it's really really good if you mix it with black eyeshadow to contour very 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 harsh and deep and to make yourself look really 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 dead. That's what I did. I mix this with a black eyeshadow to create my look. Which is awesome. It was recommended to me by the girl in Ricky's, which I purchased this in Ricky's and everything else from Ben and Ricky's. I love that place for like Halloween. And it's true. It would be a treasure. Why? Because my good stuff is in here and this is what makes me happy. My makeup makes me happy. I have one more favorite that I want to introduce you to, which it was everything when I received it. I don't normally buy jewelry, but when I do, it means something, which I purchased this ring from Blink Jewelry. I don't know if you can see it, but it's an infinity ring, and I, I love infinity everything. It means something to me. And I also purchased oh, these studs, which is real sterling silver, which is also the ring as well. And they were great pricing. 
the earrings came out to 20 something, 23, 24. The ring, almost the same price. I had got a coupon or discount from the app that I use called Retail, Retail Me Not. My sister introduced me to it and I go to that for like everything, like to get discounts from like every website. Some websites they don't have discounts, but some do have great, great discounts. But this ring and these studs are actually my favorites and they're my go-to for like going out. That's pretty much everything. My October favorites, my mini haul for the Safari and drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hmm.